The next stop on our Seeing is Believing tour is Charlotte, North Carolina, where the headquarters of America's largest bank is located, the Bank of America. Here, we find more eerie, bone-chilling paintings describing the apocalyptic story of humanity's future in pictures. Three prophetic frescoes are prominently displayed in the Bank of America's main lobby. Like the Denver murals, they tell a symbolic story which is understood by those in the know. In the first mural, the central figure is a blue-eyed, blonde-haired German boy wearing a Nazi overcoat clicking his heels together and standing at attention on the checkerboard floor that is a classic symbol of Freemasonry. Who is he? He is the same boy found in the Denver airport mural, but he is older in this continuation mural. Notice the phallic hand gesture in the comparison photo of the young, blonde-haired, blue-eyed Prince William. Similarly, the boy in the mural has a subliminal erect phallus on his Nazi overcoat symbolizing power. By erasing the boy's right arm, it becomes clear that the flames of the burning bush are shaped like a hand, and the bush itself is shaped like an arm that is positioned at the boy's shoulder. It now becomes obvious that the German boy is making a straight arm Nazi salute. Prince William's Knight of the Garter crest is a gold lion. The image of the gold lion is subliminally embedded into the blonde hair of the German boy in the mural. Notice the Egyptian pyramid and black sun behind him. The second fresco in the Bank of America's lobby is an apocalyptic concentration camp where resistors are incarcerated. In the background, industrial burning suggests a crematorium. The back and side wall are strung with barbed wire. Hazmat marines carrying rifles are seen in the crowd with their Nazi gold eagle and flags. Notice the person wearing the white hazard protection gear. The hazard protection gear symbolizes a pandemic, biochemical or nuclear warfare. This is the same apocalyptic theme found in the Denver mural, in which the Nazi general is wearing a gas mask. Overhead, the elite are hovering and celebrating like gods, circling free and naked in their wealth and power. They are energized by the chaos below, where the world population is trapped in their net. All races and creeds are caught in the net of riots and protests, including a Catholic bishop, a nun, and a handcuffed man. The protest signs are blank, implying they have no voice. The street signs are also blank, implying there is nowhere to go. The last fresco has a mission accomplished theme. It illustrates the post-apocalyptic rebuilding era that creates order out of chaos. The red dragon in human form is etched into the hillside at the top of the fresco. He sleeps peacefully while the miners serve him. These miners are a reminder of the internationally televised Chilean mine disaster and rescue in 2010. 33 miners were rescued in a ceremonial raising of the phoenix. The ritual was an announcement to 33rd degree masons that Lucifer is rising. The date of the rescue ritual was October 13, 2010, which is 131010. 131010 adds up to 33. Where did the Chilean president travel to the day after the rescue ritual? Buckingham Palace. He personally delivered a mine rock to the queen that had been raised from the mine as a symbol of the risen phoenix. This president has met the Queen at London's Buckingham Palace. Yeah, for the key for you. <laughs> this is a piece of rock that was brought by a miner. Sebastian Pinero presented the monarch with a souvenir from the San Jose mine where 33 of his countrymen were trapped for 69 days. Mr. Pinero, who was given 33 bottles of real ale by David Cameron, said the rock was brought up by the second miner to be rescued.
The prophetic murals that are featured in America's largest airport and America's largest bank express a New World Order agenda that is hidden in plain sight. The giant images on display for all to see are designed to be understood only by a few. The Commission murals share common themes, an apocalypse, a New World Order, and a central figure who is a blonde-haired, blue-eyed German boy.